guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And as you can probably already tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be a little bit more vulnerable than my usual videos because I just wanted to take a moment to get real with you guys, to talk with you as like just one of your best friends or something like that because I feel like times are rough right now. They're very strange especially for myself if you guys have been watching the news at all or if you know anything about the whole lockdown situation in Canada. I personally live in Ontario of Canada and guys this is the third lockdown that we're going through and this lockdown is going to last us until at least the end of this month here so until the at least the end of May and this is the third lockdown we've been in and I feel like since lockdowns first started of March last year it almost feels like we've just been in one continuous lockdown until the end of time and it's really taking a toll on me and I'm usually a much more positive and upbeat person and if even I'm getting down during a time like this I know that a lot of you are probably feeling down right now too. If you can't relate and you're not currently in lockdown or you feel like this pandemic isn't really affecting you, guys you're so lucky. Count your blessings but it's really affecting me. I just wanted this to be a sort of little guide for you not only how to feel better or feel a little bit more positive during a pandemic but just for beyond that, just for any of life situations that are thrown our way, it can often be difficult to see the silver lining of things. So I just wanted to be here as a reminder that things will get better and you can make your everyday life just that much better by doing a few of these little tricks and things that I have for you guys right here. I'm not like a licensed therapist by any means. I'm not an expert. I just wanted to talk to you as friends one-on-one. -on -one. I have such amazing followers on here and I was hoping to even open a discussion with you guys in the comments down below. You guys can also offer me your tidbits, your words of wisdom, things that have been helping to keep you sane during this time. And as well, I would love to know what stage of this pandemic you're in. Are you still in lockdowns or are you not? So just please feel free to let me know in the comments down below as well. So let's get to this guide on basically staying positive or being positive or seeing a silver lining in a pandemic and beyond. I actually wrote down a few things on my phone the other week or so and I would refer to it and it would often make me feel a little bit better about myself and then I was thinking why am I not recording a video and sharing these little tidbits of information or wisdom with you guys as well. So I just wanted to give you a small little guide in how I've been staying positive during this pandemic, during my third lockdown, guys, if I can stay positive and see the silver lining, I think that you can all as well. So my first piece of advice, which I touched on a little bit earlier, is to go for walks outside. Get out there and go for walks. I know that that is probably one of the few things we can actually still do, at least in Ontario where I am, other than going grocery shopping and things like that. We can actually go for walks outside and it has been so beneficial to my mental health, forget about physical health because that is just almost a bonus of being able to go for walks, but it has been so beneficial to my mental health. I cannot even tell you how much better I feel about myself, not only during the actual walk itself, but even after I sort of have a sense of accomplishment. I feel better about myself. I've been tracking my steps on my phone because it's kind of like a little mini goal that I've been working towards just to get a little bit more steps in there. And it's so good. It's a bonus, guys, if you have a dog and you can bring your dog with you. It's a bonus if you're able to walk with like a friend or family member in your circle or what have you. By all means, if there's the sun shining or if it's not, I'll even bring an umbrella and I'll walk in the rain because I really just need to get out of my house and to just see things, smell things, hear nature. And what I have been doing with my boyfriend as well is we'll often find different nature trails. So any sort of paths nearby that we haven't really discovered, we'll get out there and we'll walk and we'll discover new trails. And it's so beautiful. I'm finding so many pretty little creeks and streams and things like that nearby in my area. So going outside and going into nature and moving my body a little bit has been so beneficial. It's helped me so much and it's kept my brain feeling positive and obviously it's also good for your body too because let's be real who hasn't gained a little bit of this COVID weight here I definitely have and I almost feel like if you haven't gained weight in COVID then you're probably one of the extremes who's like lost 50 pounds or something like that so congratulations but it hasn't been so kind to me I'm sort of like a 
you know, an emotional eater, if you will. So when I feel a little bit emotional or I feel like stressed or down about myself, especially during the winter time when it's very difficult to go outside in Canada when the weather can be minus 20 and things like that, you know, you eat, you look, seek comfort in food and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that by any means, but when it does catch up to you, trust me, you'll feel so much better about yourself if you walk. So I would say make it a goal to walk every day, obviously in an environment where you feel safe, but getting into nature and walking and please, and by all means, I'm not a health professional, so you can just take what I'm saying as like friendly advice to you. But I've noticed that sometimes I'll be walking in nature in a path where it's so easy to social distance and there are people outside who are wearing masks. Now, if you're sick, of course, or if you're extremely paranoid about this pandemic, by all means, keep your mask on. But if you're in nature, if you're in like a forest path and there's nobody around you, take off that mask and breathe the fresh air. It's so helpful. Don't let your house air be the only air you're breathing. Breathe that fresh air. I promise COVID is not gonna come out of the bushes and get you guys. So if you see a person coming by on your walk, put your mask on if that makes you feel better. Keep your distance by all means. But if you're by yourself, in the wilderness, breathe in that air. You'll feel so much better, I swear. It's like, it's an instant mood booster. Just breathing the fresh air, feeling the sun on your face. It's, there's nothing like it. So going for walks is my first little tidbit of advice. And I can already tell that I talk a lot, so this is going to be a long video, so forgive me guys. <laughs> the next thing, the next piece of advice that has been helping or something that could help you for sure is honestly keeping busy. Keeping yourself occupied with certain activities that you love and you enjoy is so beneficial. It's wonderful. So whether you're a person who likes to bake, you feel comfort in baking, bake something nice, or if you love reading, read a good book or get into a good series on TV, activities that you know will produce joy. So if you feel better about yourself after you're doing a certain activity, keep doing that activity. Give yourself moments of your day, even if your day is already busy as it is. Keep busy doing something that you love doing. Make time for yourself to read or to journal or to be creative and to draw whatever it is that you really love doing. Do that and do it every single day. So do something every single day that you enjoy doing or if it doesn't make you feel good in the moment but you know it makes you feel good after. For example, if exercising, nobody, I mean, I shouldn't say no one, but I personally don't love exercising. I sometimes dread it, but sometimes after a workout, I know that I'll feel so much better after the fact. So even if you have to keep busy with an exercise or doing an activity that you know will make you feel so much better after, even cleaning, cleaning out your closet, cleaning a certain cupboard every day or a little drawer of your house every day, doing something to keep busy that you know will make you feel good after the fact as well is really important. So not just keeping busy by doing things that feel good now, but doing things that are going to feel good after, being productive in that sense. So that has really helped me. I know that even just cleaning out my closet when I did that, I felt so much better. I had piles and piles of clothes for donations and I just felt lighter, if you will. So I didn't have fun doing it. By all means, it was awful, but after the fact, I felt so good and it just made me feel good for days and days and walking into my closet and seeing how clean and organized it was made me feel so good. So sometimes keeping busy with something that you don't necessarily love in the moment, but you'll love afterward is really beneficial. So whether that's cleaning out your little bedside drawer, one drawer at a time, you know, dedicate half an hour, an hour to your day of doing something that you know will make you feel good in the long run is so beneficial. Next, something else that makes me feel joyful during this time that we're in, this strange time that we're in, is having something to look forward to. Because I am someone who needs something to look forward to or I really lack all sense of purpose and motivation in my life, if you will. So what really gave me a sense of joy pre-pandemic was having a trip to look forward to, a vacation to look forward to, or a fun event or things like that. But not having those kind of things to look forward to has really just brought me down. So I found that even if I have to have something so small, so tiny to look forward to, it makes me feel so much better. So whether that is having a routine, like for example, if every Friday night you know you're going to be having pizza for dinner, that is something great to look forward to. My sister does that and I think that is a really cute little habit to have. Or if you're the kind of person who on the weekends knows that you're going to be indulging and having like a really delicious breakfast, for example, me and Jules usually like love to get certain pastries from this specific bakery that we love. So I know that every weekend we kind of have that to look forward to, just having a good breakfast to look forward to. Or if you're baking and you get to 
eat that delicious treat the next morning. Just little things to look forward to just create so much joy in your life and they can really just help keep the positive morale there, if you will. So even if it's something so small, like a little tiny treat that you just treat yourself with and you're looking really forward to breakfast or dinner the next day or what have you, having something to look forward to big or small, it, it's honestly life-changing, it really is. The next piece of advice that I can offer you in order to stay positive is basically learning something new or even doing something that you haven't done in a while, like improving a certain skill that you have or learning a new language or taking up a new challenge. By doing something new, it will give you a sense of accomplishment and it will just make you feel so much more fulfilled just as a human being because we are natural explorers and we love to learn and we love to just feel like an overall rounded sense of accomplishment and learning a new task or learning something new, whatever it is, can just make you feel so much better about yourself. For example, last year in the pandemic, my sister and I finally took it upon ourselves to learn how to make sourdough bread. So we made our own starter from scratch and we made the bread from scratch and learning something new, that little, little task kept us just feeling so much better about ourselves. And now that is a skill that I have to this day. And just the other day I made sourdough bread from scratch and there's just something that feels so accomplished about that and it just makes me feel so good that I know how to do that. So just learning a new skill or anything new in your life. I mean, I feel like as human beings, we are all innately creative at heart. I feel like we're born creative and the creativity sometimes gets beat out of us later in life. But I feel like I do not know a single human being who isn't creative in one way or another. Whether you like to write short stories or poems or draw or make music or what have you, I feel like we're all pretty creative human beings at heart. So if you can get in touch with something that you used to love doing, a past skill that maybe you've put off, even if that's learning a new language or just something that just keeps the creative juices flowing I feel like that is so beneficial and that can make you feel so much better about yourself and if you are not the kind of person who can learn something new or who cannot be bothered at least trying something new trying a new cuisine or a new restaurant or just breaking out of your everyday routine it will make this lifetime not feel so much like Groundhog Day, not feel so much like we're reliving the same day over and over again. So if you can add a new sense to your life, you will honestly feel that much better. Now, I sort of touched upon this during my video with walking or talking about exercising, things like that, but practicing self-care is so important in order to stay positive because feeling better, looking better, it will just, it all goes hand in hand, really. And if you're not taking care of yourself and if you're sort of letting yourself go, it can almost be a downward spiral. You can almost fall into a rut of just negativity and it's easy when you're looking down to sort of feel down and vice versa by all means so i feel like practicing the self-care by eating better pampering yourself doing better you know nourishing your brain through reading maybe better things not consuming maybe so much social media but consuming books or not eating so much junk food but eating a little bit healthier just doing small things in your day to make yourself feel better is definitely going to help your overall mental state and don't forget how important it is guys to take your vitamins especially in the time that we are living in vitamin d goes a long way it also really helps with just feeling so much better in here so please do not neglect yourself and your body i'm all for guys indulging and having cake for breakfast every day pretty much i'm not some health guru but i know how much better i feel when i do practice self-care feeling better, putting myself together even, doing my own nails, you know, painting my nails, painting my toes, pampering myself, giving myself a little face mask, or every now and then if I'm feeling like really low to just put on some makeup, put on some nice clothing, and just feel better. Because when I look better, I feel better. So when you're taking food into your body that just makes you feel better, especially the next day, waking up the next morning, and just feeling a little bit healthier, it honestly helps. So whatever you can do to make yourself feel better, I'm not going to speak to you because we're all unique human beings and we all have different things that make us feel better or feel healthier. But if you do what makes you feel good from the inside out, it really reflects and it's just like, you know, look better, feel better kind of thing. So if you take care of yourself and you feel like you're looking better, you will definitely feel better. 
and you'll always be able to see the silver lining at the end of the day. I'm someone who, you know, sometimes I can get hard on myself and I can just think of all the negative things about myself, what I don't have, what I am missing in my life, but remember that you have enough, you do enough, you are enough, and you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to. And part of that is just taking in good things for us and then we'll just feel good all around. Some other things that definitely help me feel better, I know that I touched upon this as well, but I think that avoiding triggers is so important. So avoiding things that make us feel bad, whether that is social media, news, certain people or certain things in our life. If certain things are making you feel bad, but you find that you're consuming this every day, make it a point to stop. Don't do anything that makes you feel unwell. If you're consuming this kind of social media that's making you feel bad about yourself, you probably need to put the phone down and you probably need to pick up a book or something that will make you feel much better. So definitely avoid triggers. You know your own triggers. If consuming too much news on TV is making you feel bad about yourself, turn off the news channel or make it a rule that maybe once a week you're not gonna look at social media at all, you're not gonna look at the news at all. I firmly believe that you, you know, your little world is, it's very important what you put into your world. So you have to really treat that very carefully. And if things are bothering you and if they're making you feel bad about yourself, then I, by all means, you don't have to cut something out of your life because sometimes I feel like we have such a cancel culture that we're living in where it's like, if someone thinks differently than you, cancel them, wrong, you know, out. Or if like you follow a friend and you know, they're pro-vax and you're anti-vax and you want to X them out of your life because their views don't align with yours. I also think that can be wrong because it's really good as human beings in order to be well-rounded, we need to surround ourselves with a wide variety of people and people are not always gonna think the same way as you and you shouldn't just surround yourself with a circle of people who are like-minded. It's important that of course, you know when to draw the line if something is crossing boundaries for you and you don't feel comfortable by all means, but I really do not believe in deleting certain people who feel different from you. I personally like to surround myself with a wide variety of people, even on my social media pages that I personally align with and pages even that I don't because I feel like a lot of the time with almost every issue in society, I can almost always see the middle ground, of course not any certain extremes, but you know, I can see the middle way of certain things and that's because I surround myself with people who think both ways and I think that's so important. If you surround yourself with only people who think like you, chances are you're living in a cult. So don't forget guys, you need a wide variety of people. People make the world go round and we do need different opinions in life as well. Sometimes they can be mind opening or sometimes you can surround yourself with people who think differently. Just to remind yourself, I don't wanna be that way. I don't wanna think that way, but I don't believe in cancel culture. I do however believe in avoiding certain triggers that make you feel unwell. So by all means, if you have a certain person in your life whose views don't align with yours, you can mute them for a period of time or you can just be mindful and how much of that kind of information you're consuming. So just avoiding certain triggers is very important for our mental health and positivity as well. Something else that makes me and my sisters feel really good is obviously venting. So vent to your friends, your family, your partner, vent to people and get it off your chest because sometimes keeping things in can weigh heavy on you and you almost can get this sense of like, feeling like you're the only one in a situation and it really helps to talk to certain people who maybe you didn't think they felt the same way but maybe when you vent to each other you can see hey they're going through something i'm going through or wow their problems are actually a lot more difficult than mine and i should be mindful of how hard i am on myself for something so simple sometimes it's easy to get down on myself and think like, oh my gosh, another year of not going to Italy. But like, are my problems really bigger than someone else's problems? I'm sure that everyone else is suffering in their own way. So just venting and hearing, uh, having someone else vent to you, sometimes there's like a, a camaraderie there and you just feel so much better about yourself, but you should always end on a positive note when you're venting and you should always remind yourself of all the things you have to be grateful for. So that is my last piece of advice. Always remind yourselves of things you have to be grateful for. As I said, it's almost easy to build a list of things that are going wrong in our life, all the things that are negative, all the things that are weighing us down. And it's not so easy to create that positive list in our life. It's not so easy to see the silver lining of things. But if you remind yourself, especially after having these negative encounters and just feelings of negativity after if you remind yourself of all the things you have to be positive for, even if you have to write a list down in your phone as a reminder, which I clearly have done, remind yourself of all the things you have to be grateful for in life because guys, if chances are, if you're watching this video right now, 
you're a lot better than most people in society. I bet you there are tons of people who are going through just things that you couldn't even imagine. So chances are you probably don't have it as bad as you think you do. So please remind yourself of all the things you have to be grateful for. Remind yourself of all the good things that you have going for you, going in your life. Life is beautiful, life is a journey, and unfortunately, happiness is not a destination that we're going to just arrive at out of the blue. Happiness is a journey. There's going to be ebbs and flows of times where you feel a little bit lower and times where you feel a little bit higher, and that is okay. It's really important to remind yourself of that, and that is, I think, what's going to keep you positive. So after a really particularly bad day, make it a point to pick yourself up and just be more positive, do more positive things. Sorry if my chair is squeaking all the time, but it's just a reminder of all the wonderful things that we have to to be joyful about in life, even if it's small, even if it's sitting down with a piece of cake and a coffee and just really enjoying that moment in your life. We ha life is all about balance and you can't be too tipped in either scale. So, I mean, even if you are on a journey of who knows what, don't forget to indulge in the simple pleasures of life. It's so important. So guys, I hope this video didn't come across as too rambling. I did have a little list in my phone here, but I think that maybe some things were a little bit repetitive. Hopefully not. Hopefully you did learn something from this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe to my channel, there will be more videos like this one. If you did enjoy, please let me know. And please comment in the comments down below of things that you have personally been doing to stay positive, to keep yourself a little bit upbeat, especially during this pandemic and beyond. I would love to hear from you guys down below. I would also love to hear at what stage of this pandemic you're in if you're still in a lockdown like me or if things are getting back to normal, whatever's going on, I would love to hear from you guys as well. I hope this video helped you. I hope you found it inspirational, positive. I know I'll personally be referring to this video if I'm ever feeling down because it's good to remind yourself to be positive and to be thankful for all of the good things that we do have going on in our lives. I know that oftentimes we can let the bad things take over and you know it can really affect us, but there's always something to be thankful for in life. There's always something to be grateful for in life and there's always positivity to be found even in the darkest of times. Take it from me. I've been there, you know, we've all gone through tough times in our life, but we have to keep being strong. And don't forget guys, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So just keep at it, keep being positive and just do things that make you happy or bring you closer to joy every single day. So thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.